today I wanted to talk a little about WorkAway. Um, so WorkAway is basically a work exchange program or website where you can go on and search for different volunteering jobs, you know, all around the world. First of all, you kind of normally go on, make a profile, set up like your pictures and write up your description about like who you are and the type of work you're looking for, kind of experience you have, all that kind of stuff. And then you can go on and search their host list, which you can choose like, you know, where in the world you want to look for places, like what region of the world, uh, like you can search by country, by state, whatever. Um, you know, for example, like when I, before I went to Puerto Rico and worked there, I looked, you know, through, for volunteering positions in Puerto Rico specifically. I've been using WorkAway since June. Um, now, I've only worked in hostels personally, but you can do anything from, you know, farm work to hostel work to working in people's houses, you know, just helping around out around their house, you know, pretty much anything, honestly, WorkAway has, covers a pretty broad spectrum. Okay, so now I gave a brief explanation of what WorkAway is. I'm gonna talk a little bit about my experience with WorkAway. Now, like I said, Earlier, I've only um, worked in hostels through WorkAway, so I can't really speak for other types of WorkAway programs, like you know, doing farm work or really anything else other than hostel work. That's that's what I've done. But I worked at two hostels. Uh, the first one in June, I worked at a hostel called the Lazy Hostel on the island of Vieques, Puerto Rico. Uh, I was there for about three months until uh, Hurricane Maria came, and then I moved to San Juan and worked at a hostel there called Mango Mansion. And San Juan, Puerto Rican, I worked there for almost three months as well. So first thing I wanna say is, when you do go on WorkAway, you make a profile, and then you find you know, a host you like, you can look at their profile and their page and read all about it. And you can also read and see if they have any reviews or any feedback as well. So, for example, like both the places, the hostel I went and worked on WorkAway, both had you know reviews that you could read from people who had gone there and uh, you know learn a bit more about it. So I'd recommend reading some reviews and just see if they at least have like a couple of them of good ones. Uh, most of the ones are pretty pretty well rated, but there are some that you know might get some bad reviews and you can read why you know that particular place got a bad review. But yeah, once you find one you like, then you can just like shoot them a message, kind of like ask them about it, you know, tell them that you're interested, whatever. Talk about. It. I mean, don't don't make it like too vague. You know, try and like actually make your messages like saying that like you read their profile and you like know what it is and everything because. They're probably not gonna reply back to you, you know, if you just like send like a cookie cutter message to every place and you don't like actually make them see that you actually ran to their page and understand what it is. So I recommend doing that. So what you get in exchange for each workaway, I mean, it varies per workaway. Um, some places just provide you accommodation, some places provide you accommodation and food included, some places provide you with other things as well. Um, personally for me, the first hostel I worked at in VA case, we worked for 28 hours a week, and then, um, you know, we got accommodation and food covered, um, which was a fantastic deal, because when I was there, I barely spent any money, because my accommodation and food were covered, and that's like the main things you spend money on when you're traveling, so the whole reason why I'm able to travel for as much as I am right now is because of WorkAway. Honestly, like if it wasn't for WorkAway, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now, because I really don't have that much money, and I can't afford to just travel endlessly, so. You know, but with WorkAway, I can afford to go somewhere and like live there for a few months and then work, and I don't really have to spend that much money in order to do it. My biggest expenses are just flights to get to where you know I want to go and any activities I do. You know, the type of work we would do would be you know cleaning rooms, checking in guests, checking out guests. You know, just making sure most for the most part actually just running the hostel. We did have a manager there who who worked there full time and would you know kind of help us out with things if we needed it. But you know general day-to-day -day running of the hostel, like I said, cleaning beds, checking guests in and out, um, you know, serving like breakfast in the morning, doing laundry, keeping the common areas clean, any extra things that needed to be done on a day-to-day -day basis we would also take care of. Again, it varies from place to place, but I think that in a lot of cases hostels are, uh, a lot of the times the tasks you're doing are gonna be very similar across the board. Some hostels may only require that you work, you know, 20 hours a week, and other ones might be 20 or 25. It just depends on the place. So I will say that so far, my experience with the work way of working at hostels has been really fantastic. Um, like I said, I've worked at two, and it was so good, good to the point that I'm actually gonna be doing another hostel volunteering position again later this month in the Dominican Republic. So. I'm really looking forward to that. I really enjoy working in hostels, and uh, WorkAway is a great place to find hostel work. There are other other places that you can check. Um, I know there's HelpX, which I've never really used, and then also another one that I just more recently found called World Packers. There's a lot of looked at. There's actually some pretty good stuff on that one, so I may end up using that one in the future at some point as well. But 
for now I've just used Workaway and it's been been really great. I'm gonna be doing my third Workaway here uh, in the next you know couple weeks actually. I'm gonna be going to do my third one where I met tons of like cool people and had some awesome experiences. Like I made so many like great friends and it's just been fantastic. And uh, working at a hostel is really nice because it's a very um, diverse group of people that you meet. You know, you meet a lot of people from all over the, all over the world. And I really enjoy that. If you are thinking about maybe using Workaway, if you've like looked on there and stuff and thought about maybe using it to travel, and you're on a budget, and you're wondering whether or not you should try it out, I would recommend that you do because most likely it's, you're gonna have a great experience. Just make sure that you, you know, do your research and you know research the place you're going. Research, you know, where you're gonna work. Talk with your host a little bit and just make sure that you have an understanding about um, what the experience is going to be, so there aren't really any like surprises when you get there. I think it's really about expectations and just understanding what you're getting yourself into and you should be good. I mean, more than likely you're gonna have a great experience once you get there and get into it. I would highly recommend it. I think it's a great service. The only thing is, I believe, at least when I made my profile at Workaway, it does cost money. There's like $28 a year was how much it cost when I made it, but I made my Workaway account like, it's been almost a year since I made my Workaway account. I'm gonna have to probably renew it, um, you know, in the next couple of months. Other than that, I mean, the fee is kind of like, eh, like, but yeah, I'd say it's worth it, um, especially because of all the money it saved me and all the great times I've had because of a work away. So I'd say it's worth $28 a year. So yeah, if you're looking to have a new experience, you know, live in a new location you've never been to before, like for me, Puerto Rico is somewhere I really wanted to live and somewhere I really wanted to experience. And you know, work away allowed me to be able to do that. You know, working at hostels allowed me to be able to do that. And you want to meet some new cool people and just do some cool stuff. Uh, I'd recommend, you know, trying work way out, you know? And I mean, the worst thing is if you don't like it, then you only do it one time. But if you like traveling and you like meeting people from around the world and you like doing cool stuff, then you're probably gonna like Workaway. Just a quick rundown of my thoughts about Workaway because I've been doing this hostel thing, like working at hostels for the past six months now, and I'm about to do another one. And I haven't really discussed like anything about Workaway or working at hostels and what it's actually like to work and live in hostels and do Workaway. So, I want to talk about it a bit, and I probably will talk more about it in the future because um, I think it could be useful for people to, you know, learn a bit more about it. If they're thinking about doing it, then, you know, I think I should share this information. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.